May. Very fresh. 29th of May. 2018. I don't even know if this is going to work because my computer's all jibbly-jobbly messed up. Anyway, I see this article this morning, okay? The Yankees crowd loudly boos Giuliani on his birthday. Now, this is just how things work with me. Um, when I saw this, uh, the very first thing that came on to my, uh, came into my understanding was they weren't booing him for working with Trump like a lot of people, a lot of the media will try to tell you, you know, that they, oh, they're booing him because he, uh, he works for Trump now and everybody hates Trump, you know. See if you can hear him here when he says it. Alright, and they cut it off before you could really hear it. And, you know, I'm just telling you, they ain't booing him because he works for Trump. Maybe a few are, but it's because of what he didn't do or did do. Uh, back in 9-11 when he was the mayor. I mean, Giuliani uh, was the mayor of New York at the time. Everybody knows that. Oh, wait till you see this stuff. Okay? Giuliani there with Bush. There he is with Rumsfeld. And we could get into all these individuals. This here was a gigantor mass satanic ritual. That's what it was. The whole towers were built as part of the satanic ritual starting back in the 60s and that was just a phase if you will of their plan and it's amazing this all comes out on memorial day because that's all these are are satan's memorials like right in your face his little you know push pins in the giant google map that's you know and he's laughing and you know, a lot of people think about this stuff and they just say, oh, man, that's crazy. It, well, you can think what you will, all right? The One World Freedom Tower. There's a ton of stuff we could go over on this. Just to, just to show you, illustrate, I mean, unequivocally, that this is all just a giant ritual and a giant trap in order to deceive, you know, people who have good in them people who want to have peace and want to love their neighbor <laughs> but they can't because they're thrown into this whack bag upside down freakazoid satanic world that's what it is man and unless you're living in the spirit and fighting the spiritual war not only will you not understand that you're gonna fall for it and you know you're gonna basically pay for eternity for you know, your lack of seeking the truth of who you are and just falling for the words of men, you know. Oh, this professor told told us that this is what DNA does, so that's what it does. Lies. They're all lies. The whole Twin Tower thing. I mean, what a pathetic joke, right? I mean, we could go through so many aspects of this, it's ridiculous. From, let's see, when they set up the Arch of Baal in the City Hall Plaza here, they made sure that that bad boy faced right over to that satanic ritual site. Because that's what it is. These are just their cubes, their tetragrammatons, whatever. They're little memorials. And people they use to pull on their emotional strings because they run you by emotions. You know, it's how I feel about a situation. You know what I'm saying? People are just duped. Totally duped. There's a reason that they put the new tower in the location they did. You know, and if you look at that building, I mean, we could go through so much stuff, you guys. It's actually quite fascinating when you really get down to it. Uh, the Trade Center, uh, it, it's, it's, I don't even know how, where to start because it's so pathetically pathetic. It just is. I'm trying to find this one image I had. 
I'm going to have to just ramble to you guys. I mean, even the towers, the way they were built, the position they were built in, uh, all of it faces the same way as the Statue of Liberty. You know, most people think the Statue of Liberty faces east. Well, in fact, it faces more southeast, just like these buildings here do. Okay, this, this map is, I can't change it. It's situated north, south, east, west. So that's east to the right. These buildings were situated in a offset position, facing southeast, southwest. Do you understand? And that's the same way the Statue of Liberty faces. Even the One World Freedom Tower faces that way. It looks, it looks opposite from the top because it has the pyramids, upside down, right side up pyramids built into it. You know what I mean? And we could find a picture of that too. Probably should just sit here and there you go. There's one right here. If you if you look at a topographical of it, you'd see what I'm talking about. But you see how it's opposite. Upside down pyramids, right side up pyramids. And at the bottom, the footprint is opposite of the top. You know what I mean? So see how it almost twists like a DNA with pyramids in it? But the base of it is facing the same way as the old trade towers which are the same way as Statue of Liberty. We'll just go take a look. Uh, there's, no, that's Ellis Island right there. You see that? It's facing south east, not east. And there's a reason for that. <laughs> there's a reason for all of it. There's a reason that there's a giant pentagram in the bushes on this little island here. <laughs> Governor's Island. There's a reason that the pentagram points directly at the location of the trade towers. I wish I had my Google Earth still working. I'd show you guys this stuff. And it's like, you know, 666 yards away or something. It's absolutely insane, but it's real. And it's like, why did they build the trade towers exactly facing right towards the Washington Monument Arch? Okay? I mean... This goes all the way back to the beginning of everything, people. To the garden, as usual. And this is all just Satan's little vanities. All throughout, everywhere you go. The obelisks, the, the, the monuments that they put up everywhere. It's pathetic. It's literally pathetic. And these people were booing this dude because he's a traitor. Because he stepped right up and did exactly what his masters told him. By the likes of... Uh, Bush and Rumsfeld. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. We'll just, we'll scoop this stuff up and get it right out of here. We won't go store it somewhere so we can do ample testing on it or anything like that. No, we're just going to scooch it right on out of here, melt it down, whatever. I'm telling you, folks, it's, it's a satanic spirit that drives these people. Let's let this truck go by here. It's a satanic spirit that drives these people. That's what it is. And it's his world. I wanted to show you this too. There's your new Freedom Tower. And there's their little uh, monument called the Oculus. Isn't it beautiful? The Serpent Eye. Because that's what it is. The Oculus. The Serpent's Eye. What was the first thing they, they did? The first event that they held at the Oculus. Um, when it was finished. When it was completed. I'm just, I have to show you guys this stuff. And this all fits together. Everything comes from the same place. Let me just find this. Oh, it was an article right here. See that right there? That is the Oculus Sistine Chapel last June, almost exactly a year ago. Okay? The, let me show you the image of this. This is just nuts. All right? Because I have it right here. There's that same image from the article. They call the show Up Close. Look at that. The eye covered on there. And they put the dragon right smack in the middle of it. Can you can you make this stuff up? Or is it like, you know, almost laughable at this point? There's your Oculus. First show that they do in the place is the dragon. I mean, come on, you guys. You know what I mean? 
I don't like sitting here and, you know, showing this stuff. It was shown to me, so it needs to be shown to you. And it's, it's something that, you know, once you understand it, you can, you literally can understand who you are, where you are, and then you begin to seek the, the truth, and the truth is Jesus Christ. And so that's how I came to understand this stuff. This is one of the big, uh, I guess you could call it, revelations to me uh, that allowed me to develop a relationship with my Savior and be sealed. And, you know, that's all you, you got to do it. But it certainly helps to know where you live and who you're dealing with, because these aren't just your average politicians and rich men and whatever you want to call them, belonging to all the clubs, the Illuminati, you know, it's all true, but it's been made into a joke because you've been deceived. And a lot of you already know all this stuff, I get it, you know, but a lot of people don't. And this whole Memorial Day thing, I'll tell you what, this goes on and on and on. Why do you think, this is just how my spirit understands things. George W. H. W. Bush, G.W.'s father, he's in Maine, aren't I lucky? Um, but he is 93 years old. And that man has played such a huge role in Satan's plan these you know, last 70 years, 60, however long he's been around. Since World War II, this guy's been right in the heart of it, and he's wicked. I'm just telling you guys, you know, he's a wicked man. And I'm trying to just see ex-president, right here he goes. Let's see. Oh, not these guys. I'm trying to find Bush here, man. This is crazy. Oh, here he is. George H.W. Evil people, you guys. And he just kind of passed it on down the line to his uh, silly little son. And I know that I have an image of those guys hanging out somewhere here. Look at this. They saved certain pieces of the Trade Center. Why do you think they saved this column? One of the... the, the uh, you could look at this in so many ways. A W... You look at it as like a uh, trident. Uh, it's ridiculous. It's all these little monuments that they, that uh, Satan just basically creates as he goes along through men. You understand? Because these men don't love the truth. They love a lie. And they love their flesh. And they want their treasure. And they've been convinced by their master that they're going to be able to carry on once the, their flesh passes away. And they're going to live forever with their treasure and never face judgment or any of it. But there is a final judgment. Just, just like they put into the Oculus. That's what this whole mural on the world, on the uh, Sistine Chapel is, is the final judgment. Okay? I hope this is making sense to you guys. Up close. In the Oculus. Okay? Just think about this stuff. You know? That's the only reason I show it to you. The Oculus. The serpent's eye. See what I'm saying? This is nothing more than a temple and a monument to their master, Lucifer. And he is about to make his grand appearance. And when he does, let me tell you something. You're going to want to be in the corner of Jesus Christ. You understand? So get into the Bible. Come to grips with, you know, what you're dealing with. Spiritual warfare, folks. And you're only going to know how to fight the spiritual war when you're in the Word of God and washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. So make that happen if you have not already. Peace and grace to you all. Many faiths. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,